Welcome to the second workshop on process characterization. In this workshop we will test the process to determine its process characterization. In step one we'll introduce a step into the process and observe the response of the process. Based upon the response then you'll identify the way this process will be characterized. For this uh, workshop uh, there's a dynamic simulation of the process where you'll be able to change the process input using the AO block and observe the process response using the AI block. To get started in this workshop, go to the workspace area. In the workspace area, you can change the um, analog uh, output set point to introduce a step change into a process. So in this case, we'll introduce about a 10% change in the process input. In response to that, we see that the input to the process immediately changes. However, there's some delay in terms of the process output reflecting that change. And that uh, value as it starts to change is shown up in the analog input. To better visualize and see the process response, let's look at our chart. By accessing the chart, we see that there is some delay between the change in process input and first seeing a change in the output. However, a more important aspect is, is that the immediate response after the dead time is in the opposite direction of the long-term change in the process. So we know by this response that this would be characterized as an inverse process and that this can be a difficult process in terms of commissioning and control. So in terms of our question on the characterization, this would be an inverse process. We hope that this uh, workshop has been helpful to you in terms of uh, learning how to test a process and based upon its response, uh, characterize the process.